Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept of a line integral. So, what is a line integral? Well, by definition, we can say that it's the integral of the dot product of a vector and an infinitesimal displacement along a path from A to B. So, we have a vector or vector field. We have a point A and a point B inside the vector field, and then we move from point A to point B along some path. It could be a straight path, it could be a curved path, it could be kind of zigzag, however you want to get from A to B. And along the way, each time you move an infinitesimal amount of distance, you multiply via the dot product the small displacement, which is a vector quantity, with the vector, the strength of the vector, or the magnitude of the vector, and the direction of the vector at that particular point. So you do a dot product, then you move a little bit further, do a dot product again, move a little bit further. So what, essentially what you do is you move along a path, and each time when you move a small amount of del distance, dl, you multiply the dl with the vector, you get a dot product, and then you sum up all those dot products. And that's what we call a line integral. So here we have kind of an illustration of that. You have kind of a path, doesn't matter what the path is. You have a vector field, you have a magnitude and a direction along the way that changes. And so each time you multiply the directional distance that you travel, dl, times the strength, the magnitude of the vector field and the direction of the vector field, you just do that all the way along the path and sum them all up. You might say, well, is there a purpose to that? Well, there actually is. So here you can see the general equation of it. It's the vector multiplied times a small displacement. You do that over and over and over again, an infinite number of times. You add them all up via the integral, and that's called the line integral. And notice that the result of the line integral is a scalar quantity. Now, we have all kinds of examples of that. One example that we'll see later in the course is the magnitude of the magnetic field, we call the B field, the magnetic field, and then we travel around in a circle. So A and B are the same point, we simply travel around, and so Ampere's law tells us that the integral of the vector field B, the magnetic field, times the displacement, the little circle here means that we go all the way around the path, it doesn't have to be, but in this case for Ampere's law we need to go all the way around the circle, and when you do that and you add them all up, you get mu sub naught, which is a constant, times the current inside the loop. So usually a current causes a magnetic field and we can find out what the magnitude of that current is by doing a what we call a line integral through that magnetic field. So there's one example, there's many other examples we can show you. Notice that we end up with a scalar quantity. So there's all kinds of reasons why we need to know how to take line integrals and here's a nice example of that. At least it tells us a little bit more about what a line integral is.